Hey, welcome back. I'm just going to enhance this um, control logic a little bit. Basically, the heat pump doesn't need the gas. So we don't need to turn the heat pump off if we've got no gas. Because the heat pump is just using electricity. If it was a CHP, we would turn it off. So in a CHP mode, yes, if that was a CHP, we would turn it off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm still going to leave that there. Let's move that down there. Put the heating direct to that loop there so we can still turn off the CH um, the heat pump. So we start the heat pump. But what I would do with the gas boiler here or I could do it with the output, whatever output we use. Let's just take that there. Let's just cut this. And cut this. we we'll put that in just to there, make it simple. It's still going to be the same input. But um, we've only got one then that we we need to do there on the AND gate because we're just going to put an AND gate in here where's my hand gate? my AND gate's there so we put that into there my output into there which also goes into here it just goes straight through I mean yeah, we can cut that if we wanted to and put it back to there just to make it look a bit nicer, I suppose. And then that's going to be our output for our boilers at 100%. Or if you wanted 90%, I can actually, I'll just change one of these. I'll just put that at 10%. 10%. That's a hundred percent. I won't do them all because that's just repeating ninety percent. So we could, if we wanted to, have that. Doesn't like the percent. Have that there. Let's just take out the percent. It doesn't like the. Uh, it says there's an error, there's no error, but it, it doesn't like sometimes in the um, wording, the percent symbol. Let's just put a 20 in there. A 30. Yeah, I said I weren't going to do them all, but for what it takes, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and we can call it percent there. So now we've got the enable and the gas safety tied into just the boilers. Boilers control. I think what we'll do as well, we'll add a heating enable into that just as a secondary precaution so we've done that that that's never ever anyway gonna get to a true value because that will be off with the heating so uh, there's no need for that one but it's just belt and braces just adding that extra bit in there 
So we've got the sequencer, the fault, and it's also got to be enabled before the boilers will, will come on. Views AX slot sheet. So we've got the sequencer, we've got the fault, which is heat pump fault. and heating enabled but again that is not really there it doesn't it doesn't really need to be there because this would never this sequencer would never ever get to a true value because this loop would be off if the heating time clock is not on well it's just an extra bit there and if the boilers have got power numeric power boiler one it's going to be 0 to 10 volts bear in mind so it's not going to be 0 to 100 it's going to be 0 to 10 so what we would do there is we just take a divide boiler power we'll take that out 0% there which is 0 to 100 divide that by 10 so I get 0 to 10 volts won't make any difference because the boiler won't be enabled so it doesn't make any difference if that starts going up to 10 volts but we could put a bit of logic in there that we only switch that when the boilers enabled so let's just do that anyway you can use a numeric switch again Um, enable power boiler one let's just put up a capital P in there so it just separates it a little bit enabled power Enable power boiler one. So boiler one is enabled and that's going to be linked from there to the true, otherwise it's going to be zero. Let's move that across there, let's keep it nice and tidy. So while that's still disabled, so if we override that, that will put the true value which is going to be that percentage there. Let's just uh, put this under actions set and we'll put it at 50. And he wanted it on flow, didn't he? So let's just rename that to flow. Flow temp. That's per the writing above. The writing above saying reach when we reach flow temp. So that's putting the power as a voltage. But we can go electrical potential. Electrical potential. Select volts. 
We'll have two decimal places. So that's my output for the boiler there. And when this boiler is enabled, we can, let's just put a one there. And then duplicate both them. Duplicate that. Take the in from the boiler control into there. Wrong one. That one there into there and my power from there into true take the enable off there now and the override and then when after 45 minutes that will enable that one we should also switch that variable across that value across onto the power for the boiler if the boiler has power if sometimes they don't if it's a domesticated d domestic one normally they won't have power I just have it in enable signal and that's going to be working at 90% at this moment in time because you put it to 90 there so that will be coming on in a bit. It's got eight percent to do, and then it will turn itself on. So now we've got the safety tied into the boilers only. So we never put the boilers on. Yeah, we never put the boilers on if we've got a gas problem so let's take our gas problem and let's have a gas problem emergency active fail safe so emergency inactive so that's false so we would never put the the heat pump still working but we never ever put when that gets to true which it has done now we're still not going to enable the boilers because we've got a problem with the gas that uh, back to normal move that down now out of the way yeah that will do that we can composite all these to the outside if you wanted to of the folder but if we look at the folder at the moment you will see that nothing's on the outside of it just there and what we can do is take some of these points and put it to the outside of the folder so composite we will take the enable heating enable enable heating that one there in 10 so that's to the outside now and then we can take the flow temperature to the outside of the folder we'll leave the set points in the folder heat pump fault which is there Put that to there and gas safety. Gas safety. That's our gas safety. So heating, enable heating, <coughs> flow, fault, heat pump fault, and gas safety. Use 
AX slot sheet that was enable heating that was the flow heating flow that's the heat pump fault and no that wasn't the heat pump truest fault yeah that is and true is healthy so that one was my gas safety I'll just check that go into there views wire sheet that's my gas safety which is my gas safety the red nib is there and that's my heat pump fault which is my heat pump fault there so I'll just put in a boolean writable and actions set that to true and put that into there that's now healthy my heating flow is not showing anything at the moment action set that to I don't know 50 heating flow 50 and I also want a true for my heating enabled so that's working heat pumps enabled boiler one is not boiler two isn't and we, we can put them in there as well into the composite so heat pump is the out one this time coming out there and then boiler one out and then we've got a boiler two boiler two out got to rename them so see these nibs come up there now but you haven't you don't know it's just saying out out one and out two so views ax slot sheet that was the heat pump enable Enable boiler one and enable boiler two. There's your enables out there. So you've got one folder now that you can save it somewhere and you can utilize it somewhere else. The logic's all in there. All you've got to do is put your your external points into there and you input and output I can't think of any other so we've added power to it we've composited them out these points we've took the gas safety just for the gas boilers the heat pump will carry on working if you've got an emergency stop and you want to stop all the system you can do another safety there tie that into your heating enable but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.